Let's begin by going to our hearts and just feeling the promise of summer and the beginning of warmer weather, at least if you're in this northern hemisphere. And if you're in the southern hemisphere, feel yourself welcoming the cooler weather after the soaring temps of summer. Let's join hand to hand to hand to hand all over the planet. So just feel yourself walking forward and taking somebody's hand. Whether it's Xavier in Santa Fe, or Joe in San Diego, or Jerry in Knoxville, Nashville, or Tizzy in Sardinia, or Tomas in Lithuania, or Janet Down Under. Just feel yourself connecting because that's what this circle is all about. It's about being part of one. And by being part of one, of also having the support and the courage to stand on your own and be your beautiful, unique creator self. So extend both your hands and anchor in your heart. And while continuing to hold my hand, Let's go to the 13th octave together. Let's go to this place of divine union. This state of being that was never available to us before. We had to die. So we're not going to do our hand mudra going to use the clicks of our tongue. And on that first click, feel yourself taking the people that you're holding hands with and maybe a chain of friends and relatives and feel yourself proceeding to your sacred place. The place that you've created eons ago. And maybe it's a secret garden or a place in the wilderness. For me, it's a beautiful temple where my guides and Yeshua wait for me and welcome me. Feel yourself cross over that rainbow bridge and go to your special place where you are loved and nurtured and gifted by your gods and by your circle of 13. Don't rush it. This is a place where you should come often 
to simply be to stare at the wall to allow yourself to be refilled feel the love and invite the people that you've brought along today welcome them into your sacred space Now feel yourself exiting your garden or your mountaintop retreat or your temple and going to the foot of the golden sacred spiral where Archangel Gabriel waits for you. and feel look at her look at her flashing blue eyes and that incredible gorgeous smile and those corkscrew curls of gold this wise joyful archangel the spokes being for the council of love and feel her lifting you up against her heart and enfolding you in her beautiful wings and on the second click as we travel up this golden spiral higher and higher, faster and faster. And listen. Listen with your heart and your ears. And hear those angelic choruses, either singing your soul sound or your praises. Let's go. Higher. And you're exiting the spiral. And there is Gabrielle standing at the foot of the throne and unfurling her wings. and declaring with pride, with joy, how she has brought you home to be reunited with the Mother, Father, One. It's time. She is lifting you up and placing you in the arms of the Father, in that strong, wise, benevolent and loving creator, creative energy. Feel yourself being loved up. Like the sweet innocent and the ancient wise being that you are. And feel the Father gently passing you into the arms of the mother
and feel the mother cuddling and coddling you. and bringing you, tucking you, merging you directly into her heart. Go. And because there can be no separation, feel the mother and the father stepping forward as she steps back in to him. And you are in a place of union, a sacred trinity of the mother, father, you. and rest and receive Greetings, I am Mary Universal Mother Mother of Change Mother of Constancy Mother of all, Mother of one, Mother of you, my sweet daughters and sons of light. Come to me, Come and rest in my heart. You have this expression of R and R rest and recuperation. And there is no better place, sweet angel, but to rest and recuperate than with me, with us, with one. And there is not a single being on any planet, in any universe that does not need times, plural, of R&R. &R. And I would say R&R and R and R, rest, recuperation, resurrection. When I have spoken to you at the beginning of the year, in January 2018, and I have said to thee, this is the time of the new beginning. Yes, this is the time of change. And this is the time of resurrection, of ascension. And this is the time of creation and recreation. What did you think I was talking about? Or did you merely think that I was trying to create a catchy theme for the year? Because, beloveds, that was not the case. This is a time in my infinite ocean of time and your definition of time and your experience of now, might I emphasize right now, where massive expression, massive expansion, massive change, massive reconstruction, 
and ascension is taking place. Do not sit back and hide. Do not sit back and wait on a singular event, on a series of events. The domino effect is already in action. What I have meant and what I mean at this point of half year, what I mean is a new beginning for each and every one of you. A new beginning for the planet. A new beginning in terms of what it means to be Gaian. A new beginning for the collective and that domino effect out into the universe that you occupy. It is monumental and it is quiet. At times, yes, it does feel volcanic. It does feel like a hurricane. It does feel like a mudslide. It is not intended to feel like a nuclear explosion. The only implosion and explosion that we are gifting you is the implosion and explosion that takes place at still point as you, as Nova beings, step forth in your beautiful process of creation and embracing the reality, not the dream, but the reality that you are the creator race that in so many ways we have brought you back. We have closed and are closing the circle to bring you back to my original intent, to my plan of the creator race, to be the co-creators and to have the experience of love, change, of joy, of peace, in physicality. Now how do you experience love? Yes, by breathing. Because every breath you take, you are made from my essence, and you inhale my essence, and you exhale my essence, and your various debris and toxins. There is no separation. But how do you experience and express love? You do it by creating. You do it by stepping forward. Yes, you do experience it in the stillness. But for the explosion of joy, the 4th of July joy, the freedom joy, is you, my children, Flexing your muscles, flexing your muscles, yes, sometimes of courage and valor, but primarily your muscles of love and bringing forth from your being and sharing with the planet, with your family, with each other your creations of joy. Do not pretend that you do not know how to do this. That time of denial is over and done with. 
Sometimes your creations of love is a smile or a glance. You all know what that look of love looks like and feels like. Sometimes it is baking a dinner or a bread or a dessert for those you love. And that is a creation. Sometimes it is creating and participating in a new adventure. Whether it is something that you have tried before and loved or tried before and didn't quite complete. The energy and how you have been upgraded, sweet ones, is beyond your imagination. So perhaps it is something old, tried and true or not successful, or perhaps it is something brand new. Allow your creativity, your imagination, your inspiration, your heart's desire, to soar and then allow yourself encourage yourself nudge yourself to go forth in action Nova Earth the implementation of my plan is not and will not be created by inaction? Is it important, critical, to be the observer? Yes. And to be in clarity and discernment? Yes. But that is only half of the equation. It is equally important, sweet ones, to be the participant the participant in your own life, your own magnificent adventure, your own magnificent creations. And it is equally important to be the participant with the collective, whether that is a group of two or two billion. And it is not an either or, it is all of the above. Now why do I speak to you this way this day? Because you are ready and you are more than competent. You are talented, you are inspired, and you have been awakened. I do not awaken you so that you may look around and be disappointed. No. That is not my way, and that is not the way of love. I awaken you, I beckon you, to travel in new and old directions, so that you will find your joy, that you will manifest your deep peace. And in so doing, you are anchoring, beaming, transmitting to the entire planet. You are ready. So is that not another R? Rest, recuperation, resurrection, ready. You are ready, and I am asking thee, with the assistance of all, step forward in joy, step forward in action, step forward and express the beauty, the truth, the might, the gentleness, the kindness, the sweetness, the valor, the patience, the compassion of who you are in tangible reality. I am with you. I am proud of you. And I love you. 
farewell.